Hello everyone, I am Professor Ravesh Ahmed Husseini, working as Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at Sharad Institute of Technology, College of Engineering, Yadrao. So students, in last video we discussed various types of the air conditioning system. Now in this video we will discuss introduction of the psychrometric chart and its properties. So first of all we must have to know what is the main function of the air conditioner. So the main function of the air conditioner is to maintain the life environment in the comfortable condition. Therefore complete air conditioning involves there are four important parameters. First is temperature control, second one is air circulation control, third one is humidity control and last most important as far as that air conditioning is to be concerned is that air purification. So students as we know that due to that global warming the temperature of the earth is increases year by year. So the man need comfort in every aspects like in domestic application, in commercial application as well as in industrial application. So that particular parameter like humidity as well as air purification is most important in case of the refrigeration system. Now here you will get idea about what exactly that uh, air conditioner do. So as we know that in atmosphere various gases are available like nitrogen, oxygen, helium, argon, neon, etc. Similar way it consists of the water vapor, also it consists of the dust particle, fumes, etc. So what exactly that air conditioner do? So the main function of the air conditioner is to maintain the purity of the air as well as it maintain the humidity. So these are the most important function of that air conditioner. Now what is exactly that psychrometry? Psychrometry is a term which is related with the air conditioner and it deals with the study of the moist air. So one more question is arising what is dry air and what is moist air? So the dry air is the air in which there is no any kind of the wet contaminant but in case of that moist air there are some kind of the wet contaminant. So what exactly that psychrometry? So psychrometry is nothing of nothing but the study of the moist air present in the dry air. So here one more important parameter related with that psychrometry is that is mixture. So psychrometry is a science dealing with the physical laws of air water vapor mixture. So in other words we can say that the psychrometry is the study of the moist air or mixture of the dry air and water vapor. There are various terms which is related with the psychrometry those are dew point temperature, dry bulb temperature, enthalpy, humidity ratio, relative humidity, specific volume, wet bulb temperature. Now we will discuss one by one. Now the first important is the dry bulb temperature. So the dry bulb temperature is the temperature of the moist air by measured by the any kind of the thermometer. So here you will get idea about thermometer, liquid and glass thermometer, digital thermometer, RTD and sometimes that thermocouple is also used for measurement of the temperature. So what exactly that dry bulb temperature is? Dry bulb temperature is nothing but the temperature of the moist air measured by simple thermometer. Now the second important is wet bulb temperature. Wet bulb temperature is the lowest temperature that can be reached by evaporation of the water only. It is the temperature one feels the one skin in is wet and exposed to moving air. So here you will get idea about there is one whirling handle is there we must have to rotate that uh, particular psychrometer. Now there are two thermometers are there one is related with that dry bulb temperature the bulb of that dry bulb temperature is not covered by any wet cloth but here you will get idea about that bulb of that wet bulb thermometer is covered by wet cloth so here our purpose uh, is served so wet bulb temperature is the lowest temperature that can be reached by the evaporation of the water only so here again it deals with the measurement of the temperature now the third most important definition or the parameter related with the psychrometer is dew point temperature. So the temperature of the saturated moist air at the same pressure and humidity ratio of a given mixture. This is temperature at which condensation begins when the air is cooled at a constant pressure. So what is exactly that dew point temperature? So the temperature at which 
the condensation begins when the air is cooled at a constant pressure here you will get the idea about the dry bulb temperature now here the wet bulb temperature the main difference between the dry and wet is that the wet bulb temperature or that thermometer is the bulb is covered by that wet cloth and this is dew point temperature where exactly that condensation begins now the fourth important term related with the psychrometry is humidity ratio it is also known as specific humidity so the humidity ratio it is represented by the w is the mass of the water associated with each kilogram of the dry air what is humidity ratio so humidity ratio is the mass of the water associated with each kilogram of the dry air so here you will get idea about that humidity ratio is equal to mv upon ma so here mv stand for mass of the vapor ma stand for the mass of the dry air it is expressed in gram per kg so student the next important term related with the psychrometry is specific volume so the, as we know that this is one of the property of the steam as well so the specific volume is defined as the number of cubic meter of the moist air per kilogram of a dry air it is expressed in meter cube per kg so now i repeat once again the specific volume is defined as the number of the cubic meter of the moist air per kilogram of the dry air it is expressed in meter cube per kg it is used to calculate mass flow rate of the air so here you will get idea about that specific volume is equal to that particular volume upon mass in terms of meter cube per kg so the next important parameter is that enthalpy enthalpy is also one kind of property of the steam as well as psychrometry so that enthalpy is nothing but the total heat content so that total enthalpy is equal to sensible heat plus the latent heat so it addition of the sensible heat as well as latent heat so sensible heat is nothing but the heat in which there is no any kind of the phase change takes place but in case of the latent heat which is re responsible for the phase change now uh, there are various psychrometric processes are there some important processes are here listed first one is sensible heating second one is sensible cooling third one is the humidification fourth is dehumidification fifth one heating and humidification next is cooling and dehumidification next is cooling and humidification and last one is heating and dehumidification so students as we know that that sensible heating or cooling here you just take example of that uh, duct heater the coils are uh, just like uh, heating coils here our main motto is to heat the air so that's why we must have to pass the air from that heating coil so in order to increase the temperature so here we just give that 44 degree fahrenheit air temperature to that coil and after the air is passing from the coil or the coil then we will get the maximum temperature that is 65 degree fahrenheit so the psychrometric process that involves the increase or decrease in the temperature of air without changing its specific humidity or that specific humidity ratio that is the most important thing so once again i repeat that what is exactly that sensible heating or cooling so the psychrometric process that involves the increase or decrease in the temperature of air without changing its humidity ratio so first we will discuss that sensible heating so in case of the sensible heating we can increase the temperature of the air without changing its humidity ratio and in case of the sensible cooling we are increasing the we are sorry we are decreasing the temperature of the air without changing its humidity ratio the example is passing the moist air over a room space heater and a cool that heated air over the heating coils we will get at the end so here the moist air which is having some kind of the wet contaminant or a little bit cooled air when we pass through the heater at the end we will get that heated air so this is nothing but that sensible heating now the sensible cooling the meaning of that sensible cooling is 
reducing or decreasing or lowering the temperature without changing the humidity ratio so here that heated air we must have to pass through the cooling coils when it passes through the cooling coil we will get a low temperature air at the end also it is shown through that psychrometric chart so here on psychrometric chart on x axis there is a dryable temperature and on y axis you will get that humidity ratio so here you will get idea about the cooling so this red line indicates that humidity specific humidity ratio is remains constant and the arrow is towards that left direction so this is the cooling now in case of the sensible heating again horizontal line is there and it shows that that humidity ratio is remains constant and that indication of that arrow is on right side so it indicates that heating process now student the next important parameter is that heating and humidification so humidification means adding moisture in the air and dehumidification is nothing but removing the moisture so heating and humidification is nothing but a psychrometric process that involves a simultaneously increase in both the dryable temperature and humidity ratio of the air so in this figure you will get idea on x axis there is a dryable temperature and on y axis you will get that particular humidity ratio so here this term is related with the increase in the both dryable temperature so dryable temperature is continuously increases simultaneously that humidity ratio is also increases now the next important is that cooling and dehumidification so here also a psychrometric process that involves the removal of the water from air as the air temperature falls below the dew point temperature so in simply way that heating and humidification mean means adding a humidity means adding a moisture content in the dry air and in case of the cooling and dehumidification we must have to remove the moisture content which is available in the dry air so here you will get idea uh, how that uh, moisture is to be removed through this particular process now the next important is cooling and humidification so that uh, psychrometric process that involves the cooling of the air without heat loss or gain sensible heat loss by the air is converted into latent heat in the added water vapor so the meaning is generally adiabatic or evaporative cooling in this case a psychrometric process that involves the cooling of the air without any kind of the heat loss or heat gain this is nothing but that cooling and humidification process so student this is a psychrometric chart so these are the uh, various lines which is related with the psychrometric chart here you will get uh, various lines on x axis there is always the dryable temperature is there and on y axis that specific humidity the meaning of that specific humidity is humidity ratio now the horizontal lines are indicates that uh, dew point and that vertical line indicates dryable temperature that relative humidity lines are the curved lines similar way that volume constant volume lines these are the inclined lines wet lines are also there wet bulb temperature is there, there which is inclined to that particular relative humidity lines and the outermost line this the curve line is that saturation line where the relative humidity is uh, around 100% now here you will get idea about how that psychrometric chart look like so on x axis dryable temperature on y axis that particular humidity ratio dryable temperature is represented by vertical line then humidity ratio is represented by horizontal line so here you will get idea about the psychrometric chart and this psychrometric chart is mostly used while the solving the numerical and with the help of that psychrometric chart we will get the idea about the relative humidity as well as enthalpy as well as that dryable temperature wet bulb temperature then specific volume it extra so again these are the curve line this is a saturation line outermost line where the relative humidity you will get here that 100% and the lines which is parallel to that 
saturation lines are the relative humidity lines and its value goes on continuously decreases up to zero now here we will discuss that one by one uh, the first is a dryable temperature line the dryable temperature line are the lines which is vertical that vertical line indicates that dryable temperature line and dryable temperature is always on x axis of the psychrometric chart now the second one is that weightable temperature lines these lines are curved lines to the saturation line so this is a saturation line and from that saturation line these lines are continuously inclined similar way the next example of that uh, another line is that relative humidity lines so these lines are curved lines so this is the outermost line the name of that line is saturation line where the amount of the relative humidity is 100% and the lines which is parallel to that uh, saturation line is called as the relative humidity lines and uh, the value of the relative humidity is less than 100 and continuously goes on decreases now the next important is dew point temperature line these are also equi uh, distance line so these are the horizontal line on the psychrometric chart the next is humidity ratio that is specific humidity lines these are the equidistance line so on in the psychrometric chart on x axis there is a dryable temperature and on y axis there is always humidity ratio that is specific humidity so these specific humidity lines are the horizontal lines and these are the equidistance lines now the next important is the specific enthalpy lines so here these lines are continuously similar uh, or it is same as that of the weight bulb temperature line but these are the uh, equi equidistance line which is uh, starting from the saturation line these are the inclined line so the next is that specific volume lines these are also inclined lines On x axis, there is one uh, dryable temperature, and y axis, you will get that uh, specific humidity or humidity ratio. And these lines are starting from that dryable temperature and it is connected to that uh, saturation line. So, students, in this video, uh, we discussed what is exactly that psychrometry, what is the main intention of the psychrometry in case of the air conditioning system, what are the different terms related with the psychrometry process, like that uh, dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, dew point temperature, enthalpy, specific enthalpy line, specific constant volume line, etc. Also, we discuss various properties that is humidification, dew humidification, heating with dew humidification, cooling with dew humidification. So, this particular uh, study of the psychrometry is uh, helpful for theory as well as while solving the numerical. Also, students keep in mind that there is a one standard. Uh, carrier software is there through which by putting the values of the dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature we will get all values at least we must have to know the true uh, two values first is that dry, either that dry bulb temperature or wet bulb temperature or that uh, relative humidity if uh, we have the uh, we know the values of that dry bulb temperature and uh, relative humidity then we will get all parameters all properties like dry weight bulb temperature then enthalpy as well as that specific volume then dew point temperature we will directly get those values with the help of that carrier chart so our next video will be on how to use that carrier chart and it is totally free of cost you can download it from google you just type on the google free online psychrometric chart of carrier you will get that uh, particular software after installing by putting the values of the dry bulb temperature and uh, relative humidity or wet bulb temperature or relative humidity you will get all properties automatically without any calculation thank you